So this is the third step. I put one more filter. Um, it uh, I just to show you. Filter clear sky filter. So we put our vegetation now inside. This is a merged cloud from the last tutorial, and we expect uh, each point to have at least 1,000 neighbors in a 1.5 meter neighborhood. Mm, it should do nothing special with this cloud, I hope, from what I expect. But let's see if this really holds true. It's a little bit slower computation. This is nothing than a radius outlier removal, but it's quite runtime advanced because I can make huge ranges. Ah, yeah, so we got still rid of some. This is all points which don't have that many points in their neighborhood. Okay. So, what remains is this. We can go for it. Uh, the clear sky filter is for those. You can see if you have sky points in your cloud or not. It's more or less to remove points which are here, far above the tree height. It's impossible to have tree hits here where my mouse cursor is in 50, 60, 70 meters. This is meant and you can play around a bit with a, a threshold. It depends uh, what to set on your scanner resolution, on your scanner. It's just to show you that this filter exists. And now I will uh, again go for extract smooth extraction of a uh, point slice above the DTM. So scene result. Um, I want to go for the denoised ground points as ve vegetation points. Vegetation points. I want to go. Ah, yeah, my denoise sky filter contains the uh, uh, vegetation, and I wanted to cut out. I gave already the DTM. Yeah, and now I take the standard parameters, apply. Oops. We have cut out this. I'm sorry, I worked on my second monitor. So we just took this uh, step, extract. We have seen it already two times uh, before. We have to click the DTM. And the, uh, veget the denoised uh, vegetation points. And then click to standard. So this is uh, what I clicked for producing this. And now I will do clusterize, an Euclidean clustering operation. I put my slice above the DTM. I put here 10 centimeters. It's done. Uh, you can also always get rid of objects with this button, clear all views. So slice above DTM. <coughs> it's not what I wanted. <coughs> so this is the same points, but they have now, uh, they are in different clusters because if I put automatic color here, we can see uh, by color code that uh, we have now good seeds for our next segmentation routine. <coughs> and so I need to bring this back. We go to um, segmentation into three clouds 
we need to give uh, vegetation seeds this is correctly set up and um, the denoised vegetation remember last what we did with the vegetation was a sky noise filter and we click here the denoised version of our input cloud um, speed of computation I can set to 5 it's the slowest but it's a also a small cloud and I leave this to recommend it and this I never check and to be honest I forgot what these two switches do I helped out a user who was writing a master thesis so the segmentation is ongoing now we have isolated trees uh, around our segmented objects oh this is strange so I need to check something why don't we have here a tree I don't know when did we lose a tree Not here. Not ah. Okay. This tree is somehow removed. Um, I will check later. Why is it? this did happen so what we have still generated isolated trees um, is now we have the same color code or it's a random color code not the same so we have segmented our trees one two three four five six nine trees and Something went wrong. I redo the segmentation. No. Why is segmentation into three clouds? So now we have it, right? So now this is one tree. It's for lower resoluted cloud when you can put 10 uh, meters. So, okay. Now everything went fine. I'm sorry. I didn't try it out this for a long time. And so now I stop the tutorial.